We hitched a leg over the 2016 Victory Cross Country Tour in Austin, Texas, and charted a course for Galveston for the annual Lone Star Rally. If you're going to be living off the back of a motorcycle for a week, you'll quickly learn to appreciate the Cross Country Tour. The amount of storage is phenomenal. It's top case huge, saddlebags deep. The Cross Country Tour's well padded, smartly contoured seat, long floorboards, and wind deflecting front ferry makes it easy to log a lot of miles comfortably. The angular shape of the fairing is fairly aerodynamic, and the windscreen sits high enough to provide a solid buffer. Though it's mounted to the fork, the polycarbonate fairing is lightweight and doesn't hamper steering. In fact, it doesn't take much input at the handlebars to coerce the big tour to turn. And turn it does as the cross-country tour is stable at lean, tracks solidly and holds its line well. At speed, its handling for such a big bike is impressive. While a 26.3 inch seat height places the center of gravity low, and helps make it manageable during parking lot maneuvers as well. Its 1731cc Freedom 106 V-Twin hasn't changed, which isn't a bad thing. Rev it and drop it and the cross-country tour surges to freeway speed in two quick shifts. The power plant exhibits solid mid-range and a bit of over-rev on top as well. If you're not on the throttle hard, the engine chugs a bit as it builds up RPM and fueling feels a tad spotty. The air oil-cooled mill still runs hot most noticeable from the rear cylinder head. Banging through its gears, an audible thunk accompanies the first three upshifts. Overdrive's sixth gear proves useful on the interstate, reducing vibrations and RPM while still providing enough power to pass. Thanks to a neutral assist function, slipping into neutral is fuss-free. Grab a handful of front brake and the initial bite is a little soft as it takes a second for the calipers to dig in. Responsiveness and power on the rear is better though, and the braking package is effective, but the ABS continues to pulse noticeably at the pedal as the system pumps the brakes. The 2016 Cross Country Tour is loaded with useful features for long haulers. Cruise control, a four-speaker audio system, heated grips, heated seats for both rider and passenger, a bevy of 12-volt outlets, and a rider-managed venting system. The primary gauges on the Cross Country Tour, speedo, tack, gear indicator, are easily viewable at speed. Controls for the audio and cruise control are thumb operable, but the plastic control housing is fairly flimsy. With a torque-rich engine, well-balanced chassis, deceivingly stable handling, and well-sorted suspension, the 2016 Victory Cross Country Tour is primed for the long haul. Its storage capacity is class leading. Throw in plenty of rider-friendly extras at a price that undercuts its American B-Twin Touring counterparts, and you've got a touring motorcycle to be reckoned with.